diary recorded on the Egyptian temple's walls stated that Egypt was the first country that dug the first human-made canal to link both the Mediterranean and the Red Seas via the Nile River branches, where Snowsert III, the pharaoh of ancient Egypt, ordered to dig a canal linking both the Red Sea and the Nile River named Sisostris. The Egyptians' aim by dredging a canal was to bridge the human gaps in order that it would be their means for achieving communication with the foreign countries. For the good of humanity, one million Egyptians have participated in dredging the Suez Canal during the reign of Khedevi Said as the first human-made canal ever done in history in order to link directly between both the Mediterranean and Red Seas. Consequently, the Suez Canal dredging started in 1859 and lasted for 10 years. It seemed an impossibility, a rocky soil dumped with sand. That constituted natural obstacles hindering the digging and dry dredging process where Egyptians used to deal manually with the aforementioned obstacles, mainly depending on primitive dredging tools, costing grave life losses of 120,000 Egyptians, presenting to the entire humanity this vital giant project, the Suez Canal. Since the emancipation of the Suez Canal in 1869, during the reign of Khedivi Ismail, and for over 150 years, the Suez Canal was only a maritime waterway for the passage of vessels, without exploiting the significant geographic site of the Suez Canal zone. Thus, Egypt has planned to establish a new waterway parallel to the existing Suez Canal in order to develop the world trade through the shortest waterway between Asia and Europe. Moreover, the Egyptians' ambitions were unlimited and were never restricted only by the limits of establishing the new waterway. On the contrary, the new giant project aims at developing the Suez Canal zone as well as establishing an international industrial and logistic services center attracting foreign investment. The first challenge which faced the Egyptian government was the means of providing approximately 9 billion US dollars to dredge the new waterway. Accordingly, only within eight days, Egyptians have surprised the entire world where nobody have expected the size of the public participation in this concern especially under the current economic pressures and suffering the Egyptians faced following two revolutions. Hashem Ramiz, the central bank of Egypt's governor, have announced that 82% of the investment certificates purchased was implemented by individuals. As a matter of fact, the Suez Canal Authority was highly concerned by developing its capabilities, coping with the future needs where it planned to dredge a new waterway for the Suez Canal with a total length of 35 kilometers in order to have a large section of the canal doubled as possible to allow a double way ship traffic. Also, the Suez Canal Authority have planned the widening and digging of the canal's western branches with a total length of 37 kilometers to include the western branches of Bitter Lakes region as well as the western branches of Al Balah region so that the total length of the new canal will be 72 kilometers allowing the giant vessel's passage with the draft reaching 66 feet. The new Suez Canal limits the timing of the vessels spent passing it to be 11 hours instead of 18 hours, 
as well as decreasing the time of the vessels passing through it in order not to exceed three hours by any means after being 11 hours previously, so as to pass through it. Since the first moment, His Excellency President Abfet Sisi has announced the emancipation of the Suez Canal Access Development Project, the dry dredging operations were swiftly implemented under the supervision of the Egyptian Armed Forces Engineering Authority and with 100% Egyptian labor force. The issue needed the developing of 250 million cubic meters of dry sand. Only in one year, from a rocky mountainous soil existing at a height of around 25 meters over the sea, where it was needed to dig a way through that mountainous soil in order to transfer it to a waterway. Also the aforementioned issue imposed to increase the number of the companies and equipment needed in the dredging process to be tripled in order to include the project only in one year after it was previously estimated by the studies implemented through the Suez Canal Authority in collaboration with the Egyptian Armed Forces Engineering Authority to be concluded in three years. It wasn't that easy by all means. On the contrary, the issue needed an integral organization and collaboration among all participating companies in order to guarantee the implementation of the new Suez Canal joint project in the previously intended one-year period. It was previously planned to start the dredging operations, which is digging underwater, starting 19 days after concluding the dry digging period. But the timing factor was always decisive, where corresponding with the drying digging operations, the dredger's fleet affiliated to the Suez Canal Authority have started its work since the first day his Excellency, the Prime Minister Ibrahim Mehlib, have signed the contract of dredging the new Suez Canal with the various world dredging companies under the slogan of the Challenge Alliance. As a matter of fact, only during one year, it was needed to dredge 258 million cubic meters of wet sand, which is the greatest dredging operation ever done in history where during the ordinary circumstances, the sand dredging grades mounted between 8 to 10 million cubic meters per month. On the contrary, the sand dredging operations implemented in the new Suez Canal only in June 2015 was estimated to be 45 and a half million cubic meters of West Sand by means of which the new Suez Canal project was able to join the World Guinness record in this concern. The Suez Canal Authority had proved its ability and capability of managing and controlling the navigation in the canal, where in spite of the digging and dredging operations, continuation and resumption, the navigation process never stopped, even for one day. In addition to that, the number of dredges have doubled from one stage to another so as to perform work at various increasing depths till the total of the number of dredges participating in the project was estimated to be 45, which were able to implement the greatest dredging operation ever done in history with 75% of the entire world fleet dredgers participation. Also the Suez Canal Authority have started preparing the new maritime waterway with the navigation signs 
as well as training 100 guides to cross the new Suez Canal, besides establishing the main control center to monitor the vessels, in addition to printing the essential maps needed for the new Suez Canal, besides circulating it worldwide to be used by all international agencies and taking all necessary measures to secure the safe passing of all vessels through the new Suez Canal. Throughout history, the Suez Canal was and will keep being a witness for the Egyptians' will and perseverance. Repeatedly, Egyptians are racing against the tide of time and events in order to record a new history of Egypt. This was attained by achieving the giant new Suez Canal, the new life passage, and the message of communication and peace that Egypt conveys to the world. <laughs>